Trophy Lodge is finally complete. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we finally get to check out the 2022 Ultimate Trophy Lodge. We got it done. It's ready to go, ready to show you guys. And I'm super excited to do that today in this video. We're gonna take a look around. The really cool thing about this is pretty much all of these trophies, most of them, the vast majority of these trophies, all happened during live streams. A lot of you guys are gonna remember finding a lot of these trophies and they all kind of have memories behind them. And we're gonna talk about some of them. We're gonna look at uh, some of them in detail, talk about the most memorable ones, the most rare ones, and my favorite ones. And we're gonna look at the entire trophy lodge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, it's been a long time coming, man. Drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh my gosh, so much to talk about here. <laughs> it's finally happening. So, right off the bat, as soon as you enter through the front doors, we've got the two Red Deer Great Ones. One of them was an initial spawn of Quattro Kalinas. Both of them are, are the small rack from the two variations. They are both the same rack, the smaller of the two racks. First one was an initial spawn in Quattro Kalinas. Second one happened in Tia Roa after about 825 kills. We got really lucky with these guys and they are an amazing part of the trophy launch. And as we move in, we take a look to our left. We've got my only diamond moose. It's not even a huge one. I think it's like, what, a 282? It's only a 278, 278.1. My only diamond. I've got a bunch of trolls, but he's my only diamond. We've also got my only melanistic uh, mule deer. He's a male. He's a pretty nice level four. He's up there with a piebald buck as well, a big piebald buck, a diamond chamois, a diamond Iberian wolf up there as well, and my only two rare moose bulls an albino, and a piebald. Moving into this room, we've got one of my huddle fallow, one of the four diamond huddle fallow. Yes, we do have four of these. I do have 12 diamond fallow here. Obviously not gonna put all of them in here because we don't have that room, but uh, there's one of them. Definitely gotta showcase the fallow deer in here. If we look to the left, we have got a guaranteed diamond level four blacktail. Had to mount this guy. Super, super cool find. That happened very recently. We've also got the Diamond Melanistic Chamois from when the Melanistics were uncommon. I believe they are rare now. When I got this guy, they were uncommon. So that's an uncommon Diamond Melanistic Chamois. That was a lot of fun uh, finding that guy in the stream. We've got my only ever Diamond Male Gemsbach. The only one I've ever found. He's a 341.4, so he's almost max score. 342 being max score, so that's pretty cool. Uh, up here, we've got a Melanistic Grey Wolf. My only Melanistic Grey Wolf. We've got a Gold Gemsbach. We've got a couple Melanistic Black Bucks. We've got my biggest Diamond Red Deer, a 265. It looks like I missed a few plaques up there. 265.5, that's my biggest Diamond Red Deer. Big Rack took him down with the crossbow. That happened in a live stream. Just like most of these all happened in live streams. We've got another Gold Gemsbach up there. And then we've got my Diamond Dark Gemsbach from when the Darks were uncommon. And to finish off this wall, an Albino Grey Wolf. Up here, we've got a Diamond Grey Wolf and a Diamond, or no, that's the Troll Pristine. Level 9 Legendary Pristine Iberian Wolf right there. On this wall, we've got a couple Melanistic Caribou. Nice big four there. And either a small four or a level three couple Mela Caribou there on that wall. Very, very cool. Uh, we've got the two Melanistic um, Mountain Goats from Silver Ridge Peaks. I got really lucky with these guys. These guys both happened really early on at Silver Ridge Peaks. Silver Ridge Peaks came out in, what, June of 2020, and we got them both in August. Look at that. August 3rd and August 22nd. Got two Melanistic Mountain Goats in uh, August of 2020. That's super cool. I actually didn't realize they were that close together. Uh, that's actually pretty awesome. We've got my three biggest uh, feral goat diamonds here. We've got a 220.2, and we've got a 222.9, as well as a 222.7. So my three biggest feral goats here on this wall all together. Uh, 175.7 water buffalo, my biggest diamond water buffalo. This was very recent. This was on January 19th of this year. And that does it for this room. We'll move on. Along, like, all these table mounts that I have, I've got, uh, I've got a melanistic euro rabbit, uh, another melanistic Euro rabbit. So basically, I've basically filled them up with, uh, this is a diamond Euro rabbit. Filled them up with uh, Euro rabbits and uh, rare and diamond ducks. That's a red cinnamon teal. Up here, we got the brown hybrid diamond goose, 9.1, absolutely huge. That happened very recently, uh, February 20th. So he hangs out up there. And we've got a couple more ducks, a melanistic mallard, 
as well as a leucistic mallard. My only leucistic mallard, I don't know if I just have been seeing them and not noticing that they're leucistic, but that's the only one I've shot, a male 15.4. On this wall, we've got an albino fallow deer buck as well as the piebald fallow deer buck waiting for that melanistic to put together the full rare uh, huddle fallow mount. We've got the diamond raccoon, a 12.1 blonde male raccoon diamond, my only diamond raccoon at the moment. And then we've got some rare roe deer flanking these guys. We've got a piebald, we've got an albino up there, uh, females, and a couple more albino females here, uh, roe deer. So that's super cool. Okay, moving on to the core of the trophy lodge. Let's take a look at these. What do we, what do we got here? We've got uh, a male, my only male albino uh, musk deer. Only albino musk deer I've ever found. Luckily, it wasn't male. It was a level two. Uh, up here, we've got a melanistic harley, melanistic harlequin duck, and a diamond harlequin duck. So lots of, yeah, like I said, we might not look at every single duck in here. We've got a lot of uh, rare and diamond ducks in these small plaques. Uh, we've got an albino male roe deer here. And then we've got, what do we got? We've got some melanistic mouflon up on the wall. A couple females. We got a couple diamond musk deer flanking my biggest diamond mule deer, 322.3. So I don't really have any huge diamond mule deer. The three diamonds that I have uh, are not huge. This is the biggest one, 322.3. And they're all pretty close to the same size. I think they range from 318 to 322. And I think I've got a 321 as well. Uh, but yeah, a couple diamond musk deer beside him. We've also got uh, a piebald male musk deer up there as well. As well as another melanistic female mouflon. Behind me, we have got the sleigh sold separately mount. We have got a 460.9 max weight diamond reindeer. The biggest one I've ever heard of. I think he's the only 460 plus that I've actually heard of. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have heard of another one before 60.9 absolutely massive scoring I've heard of max weights being anywhere from like 445 and up so 460.9 is absolutely massive He looks just stunning. You can see the difference between him and these diamonds immediately But yeah a couple smaller diamonds and then this huge huge max weight reindeer Absolutely stunning reindeer there uh, and then here we've got a piebald. This was a level 5 troll Piebald Caribou scored 413. Uh, really sad that it trolled. It was a guaranteed troll. I think 413 was the top of the estimate for this guy. But yeah, level five. That was crazy to see. And we saw him, when we saw him, the only super I had was the light brown turkey. And that was before the light brown turkeys uh, were common. They were actually rare at that time. We got a couple max weight bighorn sheep. It's 172.7 and 173. Both of my diamond bighorn sheep, my only two diamonds. And for some reason, they're both max weights. So that's pretty awome. A 236.5 piebald caribou. Really, really wonky. So we had to mount him. Uh, extremely wonky. Two completely different antlers. So he is in the ultimate lodge for sure. Uh, and then we've got the grizzly bear multi mount here. We've got 58.3 uh, albino as well as the 55.3 melanistic and the cool thing about this is i actually got them four days apart april 5th and april 9th of 2021 so this happened kind of all at once we were able to put this mount together luckily they were both males as well so i'm super happy with that such a cool multi mount moving into the hallway we've got uh, my only albino rocky mountain elk it is a female we actually got that November 30th of 2020. So about five months after Silver Ridge Peaks came out. Really lucky to find that. They are very, 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 very rare. Super, super cool that we got that thing. Um, on this wall, we've got four piebald Rocky Mountain Elk bulls. I have four of them. So all four of them are up here and they're pretty awesome. Pretty wonky guys. Up here, we've got my biggest diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, a 503.1. So not huge, luckily 500 plus. I have two 500 plus Rocky Mountain Elk. That is my biggest one, a 503.1. And uh, he's a little bit wonky. And we were super happy, super, super happy to find that guy at Silver Ridge Peaks. Moving into this room, we've got my first ever Diamond Black Buck, a 28.3. And he's up here with a 35 scoring uh, max score Diamond Kudu. My first ever Diamond Kudu was a, 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 a max score, so that was super, super cool. Uh, and he is the Legacy Rack. Uh, we've got a Diamond Lion. We've got a max weight uh, Whitetail here. We have got uh, an Albino Iberian Wolf, my only Albino Iberian Wolf. Uh, we've also got a beige Gemsbach from when they, they've now been uh, rare. So he's up there, very rare now, the beige Gemsbach. So he's got to go up in here. We've got a Melanistic Harlequin Duck, a crowned, there's the crowned Wildebeest, my one and only crowned Wildebeest. And then up on this wall, we've got the level five gold diamond Wildebeest that we found uh, just a few days ago, as well as the two Albino Wildebeest and a couple more Melanistic Ducks here. I believe those are actually Mallard Ducks. They might be Harleys though. Down here, we've got uh, more Diamond Ducks, 
a couple diamond cinnamon teals and a diamond harlequin duck as well we've got the by sun multi-mount with the 234.9 scoring plains bison uh an albino gray wolf and a 39.9 almost max scoring gray wolf and i've actually got a couple 39.9s in this lodge uh on this goose multi-mount we've got my first ever diamond uh goose a 9.1 absolutely massive almost max score as well as my only melanistic goose as well in this mount so that's super cool up here we've got three true racks diamond kudu there is a fourth one but there is no spot for him here so we've got the three biggest of the four diamond true racks kudu that we so far have gotten uh, which seems excessive since considering those true racks kind of just came out I don't know why we've got so many of them, but it probably has something to do with that hot spot But anyway moving on we've got my other diamond lion. I've only got two of them They're both in this room as well as my first ever diamond the diamond springbok My only ever diamond springbok and my first ever diamond happened in 2020 in February uh, 110.8 diamond springbok. I have found one level five since this guy and it trolled And that's gonna do it for this room. So let's move on all right, taking a frolic down the other hallway, down to the other wing of this trophy lodge. We have got a female piebald Roosevelt elk, as well as a big male level four piebald Roosevelt elk. One of the coolest piebalds in the game. I wish I had a full body mount for this guy. I might try to tw switch something up to get him on a full body mount, just because they do look so, so good. Uh, but for now, this is where they live together on this wall. Behind me, I've got my biggest ever Diamond Cape Buffalo, a 160.5, my only 160 plus Diamond Cape Buffalo. He is a massive bighorn, and you can see uh, he's just stunningly huge, absolutely massive. He's a little bit wonky too, a little bit bigger on this uh, his left side there than on the right. A little bit longer on the right side so he's really 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 cool looking really happy with that guy uh, these are a couple more diamond uh, rosies on this wall and then back here we've got a couple of diamond feral pigs one of them being absolutely massive at 156 144 being the diamond requirement and then we've got a 146.9 and then we've got a couple diamond warthogs here what did they score 60.3 and a 59.9 so a couple of huge diamond warthogs that's another diamond uh feral pig that one is a brown hybrid it's a piebald caribou uh a red warthog my only rare red warthog they are very very rare and uh really really happy to have that guy i also do have an albino warthog but i forgot to taxi it so rip <laughs> And he's obviously not in the lodge for that reason. This is another, uh, this is a piebald reindeer, a male, as well as another piebald caribou and a big albino caribou, a 350.4 albino caribou here. Love the rare caribou and uh, reindeer. So most of them have been mounted in the lodge here. Uh, moving into this room, we've got the gobble gobble mount, melanistic female. I believe that is the super rare diamond light brown, as well as my only albino Merriam turkey. And in this one, we've got another melanistic female, as well as I believe that's a max weight scoring diamond and a leucistic Merriam turkey. Um, we've got a diamond mallard there. This is the minimum weight, a minimum weight red deer piebald minimum weight red deer i would consider that super rare absolutely crazy how rare that is to find uh, a minimum weight let, let alone a piebald one so really really happy with that trophy a little bit of an underrated trophy in my lodge i would say probably one of the most rare things in here uh and then we look at this wall and we've got an albino water buffalo uh two diamond geese there a, a diamond uh, gray wolf this is a big diamond level four Gemsbach 354.4. Uh, I've also, I, had, I've, I have shot a level five diamond female Gemsbach, 358 scoring level five diamond female Gemsbach. I couldn't find it in my list. I don't know if it's gone or if I just couldn't find it. I'm kind of just thinking about this right now to be completely honest, but we have to find her. She's got to go up in this lodge as well. So we definitely got to make that change. I'll have to look to see if I can find her. Uh, we've got a leucistic 156 scoring plains bison up there and a couple more my only other two rare moose I've got an albino and a piebald up there to go with the albino and the piebald bulls in that other room on this wall We've got my rare pronghorn. I've got an albino an albino and a uh, Leucistic as well the male leucistic with the two female albino pronghorn on this wall We've got three mule deer bucks all albino as well as the spiked Piebald mule deer, tiny little piebald mule deer, 40.8. Can't remember if it was a, a, a legit minimum weight. Unfortunately, you can't see the weights in the trophy lodge, but he might have been a minimum weight. I, I don't remember. I just don't remember, but he is absolutely tiny. 40.8 scoring piebald mule deer. So that's super cool, too. Moving on into this room, we have got the Mouflon and Iberian Wolf multi mount, 186.3. 
uh, max weight diamond mouflon there with three diamond Iberian wolves with him on this multi mount. Very, very cool. Up on this wall, we've got the three melanistic male Ibex that are currently waiting for the Rondo to finish off the melanistic Grand Slam multi mount. So they're hanging out there waiting patiently for that Rondo to join them. Uh, we've got some male albino mouflon on the wall in here. Melanistic uh, plains bison, more male albino mouflon. We've got four of them total, as well as an albino plains bison, a male, uh, my only albino bighorn sheep, a male, uh, that was a level three. We have got the rare egg white Iberian wolf. That's uh, since they've been rare, we've gotten one of those, as well as my only albino puma, 37 scoring. That was a level seven. And then, yeah, we've got uh, a white-tailed jackrabbit there, diamond. The rabbits are around. The diamond rabbits are around. Forgot about these table mounts. What do we got here? These are gray. These are my two gray geese, as well as these table mounts that we forgot. Uh, we've got a white-tailed jackrabbit diamond and a European hare diamond. All right, on these table mounts, we've got a 9.1, another 9.1 diamond goose. And an 8.699999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
uh, about a week before Mississippi came out, December 17th of 2021, we finally got, or no, that's the Gray Fox, um, November 26th, 2021, uh, just before Mississippi was, was slated to come out, we got the Diamond Red Fox out of the way. Um, and then we've got the Diamond Gray Fox with him in this multi-mount. Here we have the uh, Great One Whitetail. My Great One Whitetail is not albino. That is a bug in the Trophy Lodge. It is a common. And he's in here with uh, two max weight uh, Whitetail in the, uh, the Huddle Whitetail multi-mount here. So very, very cool. A very prized multi-mount. Some prized trophies there. Something I'm really happy with. Would love to be able to fill this up with uh, with great ones one day. We'll see if we're able to do that. On this wall, we've got my one and only albino wild boar. We've got another red warthog. I actually didn't realize that I had two of these. I thought I only had one. I, it seems that I have two. Crazy. I don't remember getting two of them, but apparently I have two. That's super cool. They're very rare. So we do have two of them. We've got another one in the hallway that we looked at earlier. Um, that up there is my first ever diamond wild boar. 155.7. Massive wild boar. And uh, we actually got him the same day, if I remember correctly, the same day that we got the red deer. We got them back to back, uh, July 17th, 21-22, July 17th. And then right after him, we found this guy, right? Yep, yep, 21-32. <laughs> and that's in a video too. If you guys go way back, there is a video of that happening. So that's super cool. I mean, it's just, it's crazy that, you know, I can look at some of these and remember that stuff from so long ago. It's so cool. Um, up here, we've got three, two Truac Albino Lesser Kudu and one Legacy. I believe that one up there was my first ever Albino Kudu. Um, on the back wall, we'll go straight to the back wall. We've got three Diamond Piebald Cinnamon Teals, three Piebald Diamond Cinnamon Teal there, as well as a Piebald Diamond Harlequin Duck. We've got three Melanistic Kudu up here. Um, on this mount, we have got the Albino Raccoon, my only Albino Raccoon, as well as the Piebald Red Fox and a diamond a white tail jackrabbit on this multi mount really really cool i love the piebald red fox one of my favorite trophies i think uh, but there's a lot to choose from there's one of the grand slam multi mounts i've got a bunch of these made up now uh but uh this is one of them love this mount i love the way this mount looks on this smaller plaque a lot of people put it on the circle plaque uh, i actually like it better like this i think it looks better like this uh but it's such a cool multi mount they look just amazing Hopefully we'll finish off the melanistic one soon. Um, on this mount, we've got my biggest ever diamond uh, black tail deer, a 186.7 with a melanistic mountain lion there. And then up here, we've got another melanistic mountain lion with the tall Roosevelt elk, the amazing tall Roosevelt elk. One of the coolest trophies in this lodge. I'm still yet to see another legit one um, with that rack configuration. It is absolutely crazy looking. And I absolutely love this mount. Just absolutely love it. Moving on, we've got an albino javelina with a diamond javelina, collared peccary. We've got the super rare piebald diamond red deer with an albino hind. Hopefully one day I'll be able to put a melanistic hind here with the super rare. But that is the, the nine legendary diamond uh, piebald red deer right there with the albino hind. Absolutely crazy that we have that. So, so cool that I can have that in the Trophy Lodge. Just insanely rare. Um, that's my biggest diamond Sika deer, a 217.5 biggest diamond Sika deer. That's the 276 max weight fallow deer. Absolutely massive diamond fallow deer, 276 scoring max weight. That is a max weight, 458.7 diamond caribou. Absolutely huge, 458.7 scoring, which is really, really, really high scoring for a caribou. And that is my only max weight diamond caribou as well my huge albino rosy absolutely love this guy this is a level four three three sixteen point nine albino roosevelt elk my only albino roosevelt elk and uh just an absolute stunner he's there with another melanistic mountain lion and then we've got this mount we've got the max weight diamond coyote my only diamond coyote who's max weight almost max score so close with uh three melanistic mallards here and that is a super cool trophy as well and guys i think that is everything i think we have looked at everything i don't think i missed any of the rooms we have covered absolutely everything this is it guys these are all my favorite trophies all the most memorable favorite trophies from my call of the wild career and everything in here um, other than, you know, maybe a couple trophies happened while doing YouTube. The vast majority, I would say 90, 
of these uh, trophies happened while live streaming. So a lot of you guys, you know, there's stories behind these these trophies. There's memories that go with them. So it's more than just, uh, you know, the trophies themselves. It's And it's really, really cool that we can, like, share that together. And if you guys remember any of these or if you have, you know, little memories that you have to go along with these, I would love to hear about that, like, down in the comment section. Uh, we can kind of chat about, uh, you know, just remembering some of this stuff happening while you guys were with me in the in the streams not to get all mushy about it but yeah i would love to hear your guys and end of it and your experiences remembering some of these trophies remembering the moments that go along with them but anyways i digress thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this it's been a long time coming it's finally done uh I'm just so glad to be able to share this with you guys and make this video finally i've been wanting to do this and uh it's finally done if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like on it it's super important uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A lot more amazing content on the way for you guys. Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.